welcome to the live stream of Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, if you are hearing this right now, it's probably because you are watching it on the channel at a later date. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're just going to wait a second and uh, tweet and Facebook out the link for anyone who wants to join the live stream. And, uh, and then we'll get to it. Then we'll get to uh, assassinating some fools. Get the links out, get people in the live, and then we'll uh, then we'll get to it. So yeah, this is uh, this is my guy. Uh, this is this is Bayek. If you uh, haven't played Assassin's Creed Origins, and if you haven't, uh, and you're kind of like wondering whether or not you should pick this up, this is a, a highly recommend for me, which I'm actually kind of surprised by, in all honesty. But this is uh, this is the main character Bayek of. Uh, Put this dope little hunter outfit on him. Got a bunch of different outfits that you can choose from. I don't know why anyone would choose anything other than the Savannah Marauder because that uh, little leopard print on the shoulder is dope. Or if I want to be nasty, I can just go around in a bath towel. I'm impressed that the bath towel is able to hold up a sword that's strapped to it. Like that's a that's a hefty bath towel. And a bow that is has inserted itself through my back, clinging on to nothing. It's a good look. Or I could pretend to be Sekhmet. Look at this scary little lion coming at you. He ain't gonna hurt you. Screw around with outfits while we're getting all the links sent out so that people can join the live stream. Now we've got a couple people in here already. Hate hey everybody who's part of the live stream. For anyone on the live stream, the uh, our From Superheroes co-creator Diana will be popping in from time to time, seeing how everybody's doing. All right, the link has been sent out, so here we go. Uh, the first thing that. Uh, so this is Assassin's Creed Origins. First thing that I'm going to do, I was in the middle of a, a mission here that uh, I hadn't quite finished yet, uh, which might be a, a tricky one. This is like a little bit of a puzzle national treasure mission that I'm on, and I'm going to see if we can figure this out. So we can figure this out together. Anybody in the live chat, feel free to, uh, if you got some advice for me, let me know. Uh, so one little side quest that this game has is... Uh, is essentially these little like national treasure type you found like a clue in a map and it's not indicated on your mini map there's no marker on where to go you just got to kind of put together what the words are referring to in order to in order to find out where to track an object down so this is the one that i'm trying to track down right now so if your feet are firm in uh, latopolis look west to the pyramids Within the golden dunes lies the temple of a million years, guarded by stone lionesses. So, I am in uh, Latopolis right now, so I need to look to the west to the pyramids. So I am in, yeah, I am in Latopolis right now. So there should be some pyramids over here to the west somewhere. Um, all right, so not too far because once. So as, as we span out, just to give you an idea of the map and what's going on here, uh, we're going to, 
yeah, we're in this region, so this puzzle is probably going to be somewhere to the west. There's probably going to be some pyramids around here. Probably not much further because then we're crossing over into another province and territory. So the clue would probably reference that territory if it was going to be as far over as there. Uh, so let's see if I go west, if we can uh, figure this out. Welcome. Welcome uh, to Metopolis, so final dream of the late Tahaka. Bronze X Eagle in the chat uh, mentioned that he hasn't been following, uh, he or she hasn't been following the Assassin's Creed games. Can you explain the general story of this one? Uh, and that is no small task. Uh, <laughs> I've been a fan of the Assassin's Creed games and played most of them with the exception of, uh, you know, they've, they've had some misses. They've had a lot of games over the years and uh, I'm going to say there's probably like four that I've really enjoyed. The last one I really enjoyed was Black Flag. Uh, explaining the story is is no easy task because it's kind of a, a convoluted story like if you've ever uh played metal gear solid games trying to explain the story of that Whoa. can uh, make you go cross-eyed it's kind of similar to that uh but the general gist is that in assassin's creed you exist in present day and there is a uh there is a group that has created the technology where you can go back in time and experience the memories of your ancestors so that's the general gist. You, you exist in modern day, and you can go experience the memories of your ancestors, uh, which is what you're doing in every single one of the games. And in this game, you are experiencing the memory of an ancient Egyptian ancestor. So you play this character, Bayek, who uh, exists in the time of... I wouldn't be able to tell you the timeline, actually. I know they mentioned it in the game, but many years BC uh, in, uh, in ancient uh, Egypt slash Rome, right before the rise of Cleopatra. Uh, so that's the general story. You are this character who is, and this is called Origins because you're supposed to be the first assassin. And this is the beginning of the Assassin's Guild. So every other game that's existed in this series kind of takes place chronologically after this game. This is the earliest memory anyone's ever experienced. And yeah, you're in ancient Egypt. You're the first assassin who will eventually create a guild. And, uh, and that's the gist of it. And then things happen as it goes on. Your main character, Bayek, his predominant motivation in this game is that uh, the evil powers that be murdered his son. Uh, Bayek is kind of like a... Uh, he's a medje is the, the title for him. He's basically like a sheriff, uh, like a Walker, Texas Ranger kind of, uh, kind of guy who just goes around and writes wrongs, and the powers that be did not care for that. All right, so now I'm trying to solve this puzzle. There's supposed to be pyramids to the west. So you can control your eagle, which is kind of the way to scout out certain areas, which I really like. And this is like a little enemy area here, which I could go in and kill people, but I don't think this is... Yeah, this is just like a regular structure. This isn't a pyramid pyramid, so I don't think this is where I'm trying to go for solving this little mystery. But that's straight to the west. Whatever's off there in the distance, that could be a buried pyramid, perhaps. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, um, bronze, bronze Eagle, I hope that helps you out in terms of catching up with what's going on in the series. This game loves its eagles. This entire series has been a big fan of eagles. All right, we're going to try to solve this riddle for a little bit, but if it gets too boring in terms of just trying to find things, then uh, we'll go about a proper assassination. Oh, there's, there's pyramids down here. All right, let's go to this. Because even though that's south of me right now, it's, it's west of the city, so it's probably somewhere around here that I need to solve this puzzle think so yeah that's probably down around this way which is still west of Letopolis the city so that's probably where I need to go and then once I get there within the golden dunes lies temple of a million years guarded by stone lionesses Whoa. so let's look for some stone lionesses down this way but yeah I've been I've been loving this game so far um, 
it feels as much as I've been a fan of many different Assassin's Creed games, this game feels more like uh, The Witcher, if you've played any of The Witcher series, which is just a, a favorite game of mine. I love The Witcher. So this feels almost more like The Witcher than it does an Assassin's Creed game, uh, just in terms of the map is absolutely massive. Uh, like Assassin's Creed series have always had a big map and a fair size area to explore. This is bonkers. Like, I've been playing this game for a, a long time. There's a lot of gameplay that I've gotten into for this. And these are the provinces that I've unlocked. And then the blued out areas are places that I haven't even been yet. And I think the only, like, province that I fully have 100% completed is the first one, where, your character, where the character is born and from is Siwa. But all these other places, I haven't even 100%ed it. I'm just spending a lot of time just like hunting down animals, doing side quests, having fun. Like all these quests that I have active and open right now, there's a lot to do in this game. And I kind of love it because like it feels like this game so far has been a beautiful mix of an Assassin's Creed game, uh, The Witcher, um, though not as challenging as Dark Souls, but there's like a Dark Souls kind of element to it that uh ubisoft really learned from uh if you played the division uh very similar to tom clancy's the division in terms of having areas of the map that you can see the little number underneath it ranked in terms of what level you should be in order to kind of explore there and be able to survive so a little bit of like a dark souls element in terms of you can just kind of wander around and do whatever it is that you want to do and you might require some assistance with it. There's some puzzles that are not necessarily given to you as quests. But, uh, but you can wander around and kind of explore at your leisure with the main limitation being uh, your own power level and what you can survive. All right, so these are the Giza Pyramids. Let's see what's in here. Okay, Tomb of Khufu. All right. Let's light the torch and see what's going on. I don't know if this is the answer to the puzzle that I had, but it's something. I'm going to find something in here. I can guarantee you that. Uh, so I can squeeze through that crack, but before I do that, I'm going to see what's up here and try not to get completely lost. Oh god, this place is massive. I'm fully exploring a pyramid right now. All right, this seems like that was going to go on for a while, so let's, let's see what's going on here in this little crevice. Check out the crevice. Welcome new people to the stream. Let's see, we got a few more joining. Welcome, welcome. We're currently exploring some pyramids in Giza, and I am for sure going to get lost in this tomb. This might be the death of my character. Just running out of fresh oxygen, walking around a tomb, holding a torch. It's not the it's not the way I wanted to go, but sometimes that's what happens. There was a place there a second ago I could have dropped down, but I'm gonna see how much loot I can grab here first. Uh, yeah, if you hold up on the D-pad, you do the this little, like, eagle vision, which you're familiar with if you've played anything in the series. If you haven't played other games in the series, it's kind of like Batman detective mode or listening intently in Last of Us. Uh, it's your basic video game mechanic that all video games have now, where you can see through walls and mark other shit and uh, kind of know where the location of everything is. This game is so massive. It's incredibly impressive. And that's something that like I don't say lightly as a what compliment. What does this lead to? This uh, door has been rigged with something dangerous. There's no way through here. There's no way through here. But I'll just stab the shit out of it. God damn it. Interesting. Um, yeah, normally I don't say... I, I don't normally use this game as large as a compliment. Because uh, that's something that I've not been a big fan of in gaming over the recent years, which is just kind of the pissing contest of how big and open a world can you create, as opposed to how good can a game be. Uh, but this is one of those rare games where the big open world actually kind of 
adds to the narrative and to the feeling of it all. Like, I, I really do feel like this character, kind of exploring the wastelands and the desert. Like, there are points in the game where you, if you explore the desert too long, you start having visions. It looks like it's raining scarabs. Uh, you're, you essentially just get heat stroke and start having strange visions. Uh, so there's a lot of elements to this game where I don't normally just use this is a big world as a compliment, but this is one of the few games where I'll say this is a big world and actually mean it as a compliment. All right, so that through that crevice down there seemed like a bit of a dead end, so let's see what happens over this way. Nothing up here. So I could have went down through that little tunnel down there. But I can also get up here. Fuck, there's so much to explore here. Uh, yeah, I've been loving this game so far. The, uh, the inventory management and weapons are, are pretty well laid out. I really enjoy like what, this, uh, what you have in terms of choosing your weapons and choosing how you want your character to look and, and be. All the side quests are really interesting. The main narrative leaves a little something to be desired. Like, I don't actually... This main... The character I'm playing, Bayek, his son was murdered, and you're trying to seek vengeance. And I don't really care that much about vengeance for my son. Uh, the story, I think, does kind of a bad job of, of telling that story and making me feel for this character. A lot of the time, when it gets to the main story, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah my son's dead. I got to kill some people, whatever. Uh, it feels like kind of a, uh, a wasted opportunity and something that I don't actually care about. All right, so that was everything down in this little crevice. Wait a minute. Is there shit up there, or is that just the ceiling? That's just the ceiling. And folks in the chat, let me know how the volume is as well. If I'm coming in too loud, too quiet, if the game volume is too loud, too quiet, just uh, let me know. We'll explore this stuff for a little while, but this is a little slow paced, so eventually we gotta get out and actually assassinate some fools. But for now, just enjoy how beautiful the fucking lighting effects and everything about this game is. Oh, a little hidden entrance there. Loot this stuff, and then I'll go through that. feel like that story is true. All right, well, that closed behind me, so this is going to be a one-way street. I'm pretty sure this is a one. Oh, oh, uh, it's a little symbol there. I think I can get back through there if I need to. Ooh, that's a lot of loot. Break these seals. I can interact with this, but also I think I can just go go over. Oh, there's some more shit up here. I wonder if this is safer than going through the door. I feel like if I open that door, it's booby-trapped, and something's about to go horribly wrong. But I can't not open it. I gotta go back and open that door, just to at least see if that room starts filling with sand, or what the hell happens. I'm gonna grab all this loot first. 
I'm willing to bet that's probably how I get out of here. Ancient writing from the Old Kingdom. All right, sweet. So I found the ancient tomb. If you find these, you get an extra ability point to spend how you please. I've only done one of these before. Uh, it's just some tomb exploration. Let's see what happens, though, if I try to open this. Oh, nothing. It's just uh, some hieroglyphs I can read. Cool. Anyone in the chat, if you feel like seeing a specific type of mission, or if you want me to go assassinate some fools, or hunt down some, uh, you can hunt down animals as well to get like skin pelts and furs that you can use to, to craft upgrades and weapons and items. Uh, so if you want to see uh, a main story quest, uh, like an assassination side quest, or if there are any requests for how you want me to go about playing the game, let me know. All right, it looked like I could go down even further there if I had it dropped. So I'm wondering if I should drop or keep exploring this way. That was a sweet roll. No, I'm going to drop all the way down back here and see what's going on. Let's see what's up. Another little crawl space. All right, just a couple of collectibles. Scooch through. Come on now. There you go. Hey, Medjay. Ashatosh. Ashitosh in the chat. What's up? What's up? <coughs> yeah, I was trying to find the uh, the appropriate metaphor for what uh, a meje is. Like, it's it seems like it's sheriff like, but I don't know if there is uh, an exact metaphor in current society as to what uh, what a meje is. Mejai, meje. Yeah, this this tomb exploration is getting out of hand here. I my character is definitely just gonna gonna die down here. This is gonna this game ends in someone in present day discovering my skeleton in this place. Ashtosh in the chat saying uh, protector. Yeah, I think protector is kind of a a good general metaphor for what a what a magi is. A protector who's uh, also allowed to kill. Has a James Bond level license to kill, but also protects. Oh, something collectible here. Got some cash. Where in the name of God am I? Oh my God, did I make it out? I'm out. I'm out and I'm alive. Yeah, we did it. I managed to successfully explore the tomb and not be buried there myself. All right, what else is going on in this area? All right, I can get down in there, whatever that is. God damn it, this is a lot of this is a lot of like little mini pyramids around a pyramid here. All right, I'm gonna drop that torch. Don't need that no more. Why is this lit? What's going what on with this person? What fool would set up camp out here? I should have a look. Yeah, that was actually going to be my question. What fool would set up a camp out here? Let's see what this fool wants. Uh, if, if, if they're alive. Greek gob. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. What luck you're right. Here, 
Stand up. All right, so one sucker punched Bayek here. Damn, I thought you were lying on it. Lying on what? What happened? My notes. I'm a geographer. Cortesius, nice to meet you. Looks like we were attacked. They emptied my pockets. Took my notes, too. You might want to check your pouch. You, too? I should have known better than to travel the desert on my own. I'm going to find those thieves. They ought to pray to all their gods that my notes are undamaged. Yeah, we're lucky enough to be alive. What do you remember? Remember? I was clubbed in the head. I only recall the sound of a horse galloping away. There might be tracks. Stay here. Tracks? All right, I'm gonna switch quests right over to this and hunt down these fools because nobody clubs me in the back of the fucking head and gets away with it, I'll tell you that. I was mapping this pyramid one moment and the next I'm speeding up sand. Call my horse. One thing that I don't totally understand in this game is that you can go to vendors and buy different horses and camels, uh, as well as different outfits for your character. And they all have like detailed descriptions as to what they, the like what the personalities the of the horses and camels are, or what type of clothing it is that you're buying. They have no effect on gameplay, which is really weird, even though the descriptions almost kind of imply that they do. Uh, so it'll be like, you can buy a horse and it'll be like, this horse doesn't get afraid during combat, but none of the horses do. It, it's just, it's a zero effect. Uh, so I don't really know what the point of spending your cash on extra horses and camels are, especially since they're all horses and camels. Like, you, you got, like, a horse of, like, a different color and stuff, but uh, it's, it's a horse. Like, it's, it's not it, stylistically, it isn't even that different. Whoa. They're all horses. We're all camels. That must be the horse that thieves used to escape. Through here. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna find. Find these fools. What the fuck is a kid doing here? What is a child doing out here? <laughs> I'm just finding things for Untap. Bayek just basically cleans up what I'm thinking. I'm a Magi, looking for some thieves who came this way. Did you see anyone? Uh, no. No one. Are you here alone? No, um, I mean, yes, alone. That boy is hiding something. Alright, I'm following this kid, because I don't trust this kid. You should go. There's nothing here. I'm just digging around. I can dig, can't I? <laughs> Ashutosh saying that I'm synchronized with Bayek. I think I am. I really hope this kid isn't the one that knocked me out. I really got... I got better hopes for Bayek than that. He's a tough man. Although, you know, like a kid with a club, that's a that's a tough kid. Okay, can I climb up here or is there a different way I should be going? What the fuck's going on here? All right, I can see that there's stuff over on the other side. I don't know how I get to the stairwell that my hawk discovered. Oh, sweet. A little crevice. And another kid. It is odd for a child to be playing here, no? Oh, what do you mean? I'm looking for some stolen items. Looks like you could help me. I don't know what you're talking about. My child, you are not at fault. I'm here to help. We hid it in Menkaure's pyramid. I'm sorry, we had to do it for Anta. I'm sure Anta is a good friend. But Giza is no place for such foolishness. Please don't be angry. 
All right, so whoever Anta is has a, a gang of children stealing for them. Some real, some real Dickensian shit that we got going on here right now. Oh, do I got to go back into this fucking maze of a pyramid? <coughs> Fuck me. Or maybe this is a different pyramid. I don't know. It's big. It's triangular. All right, they're all the same. Oh, yeah, this is a little bit different. The other pyramid I was at didn't have had steps going up. All right, so there's another ancient tablet somewhere in here, along with the stolen items. I didn't expect this stream to be me just exploring pyramids for uh, for too long, but here we are. You now you gotta you gotta go where the quests take you. There will be assassination of fools later, but for now, you got you got to explore pyramid. You got to. I love how I'm also hating on these kids for stealing shit, and then the second that I'm alone, I'm like, I'm gonna open this box, I'm gonna ancients. take this thing. Riches of the ancients, Forgive that's me, mine now. I have need of this. Bayek's kind of a hypocrite. All right, so I think that's everything in that room. Go back up here. Oh, okay. Maybe all roads lead to the same spot, apparently. All right, so how the fuck do I get out of here? Ah, side tunnel. Oh, yeah, the sound of kids humming. Nothing nothing unsettling about that. <laughs> this is our pyramid! <laughs> hey, you've got quite the swing. Just how many of you are there? Only my brother, sister, and I. Don't harm them. I'm the one responsible. I want the note you stole from the Greek geographer you knocked out. And I want my money back. We've given everything to the bandits from the hills west of the Hemon tombs. They have Anta, too, and won't give her back unless we steal for them. Who is Anta? Our protector. We were going back to Memphis when they took her. If we I'm don't do what they say, they will kill her. Bandits will profit from children. Make it the adits. Get your siblings and stay out of sight. You have my word. I will return Anta to you. And once I return Anta to you, I get one free smack just to even it up, kid. That's that's Magi rules. Don't don't get me wrong, kid. I'm gonna feel bad about it, but every, you gotta get one. Worry about me. I'm gonna fuck up those bandits. Alright, there's supposed to be another tablet in this tomb somewhere. But where it would be, I don't fucking know. Because this is every room from that entrance, but there might be another way into the tomb from a different area. So I'll worry about that later. Yeah, this is where I came from. All right, so I've done some tomb raiding. Now, I've got to assassinate some fools. Leave that torch behind. I won't be needing that. Come on, horsey. Come on, horse. Don't glitch out. Yeah, there you go. 
when the horse works in this game, it works really well. Like, one thing that I like is that you can call the horse and still continue in, like, a full-on sprint. And, ooh, we got some random bad guys transporting some gold through the desert here. And I know I'm on my way to take out some bandits, and this kind of makes me a bandit as well, but, like I said, Magi rules are complicated. We're gonna fail our mission. Oh shit! We are on fire. We are all on fire. Oh, oh! Get out of there! This guy is a tough cookie. Shield me! We're gonna fail our mission. Oh fuck, there's another tough guy here? God damn it. Holy shit, how many of these bad boys are there? Well this is this is bad for everybody. And now I'm on fire. Okay, okay. You know what? This is this is escalated quickly. Shield me! We can fail our mission! I'll have your guts for that! Hold the enemy! I must push on! Shit! To the yes. master! Hurry! You. Shield me! We cannot fire! God damn it, I'm on fire? Oh, these dudes have fire arrows? This is another bad boy! There you go. Got that one. Take that arrow back out of his body. Oof. All right, I thought that was one lone guy on a horse that was just going to get me some nice cash quick. And uh, now this happened. The vultures are hanging around, picking on the bodies. Kill this vulture. That's right, get out of here, vultures. This is my, this is my loot. Oh fuck, now we got jackals in the picture. Jackals hanging out now? I didn't even notice if I collected the gold from these people. The jackals are over there are surrounded by some other dead bodies, so I think maybe I'm gonna go kill them, get some pelts, and whatever the hell they killed. Ooh, that's a lot of soft leather. Another hyena hanging around. Another hyena looking for trouble. Whew. Now I'm the one looking for trouble. Just because I need furs. All right, let's go kill these bandits. I'm getting distracted here. Whoa. Yeah, there's just a... <laughs> Ashutosh, there's just, just a few hyenas going on. Just a couple.
Bandits, could you have chosen a closer hideout? For the love of God. Whoa. This is the camp where Anta is being held. The children gave everything to these bandits. So I should keep them out. Hmm. No trace of Anta or the knots. The bandit stash is likely guarded deep inside their hideout. Come on. Uh, this is another feature of the eagle. You can see that little circle there. All right, it's gone now because I found it, but uh, the eagle knows where hidden treasures are. And every, like, bandit camp and stuff has hidden treasures, so if you can find it and tag it, it helps you uh, track it down once you're in there. And uh, the eagle vision will also tag enemies like these so you kind of know where they are before you get into the shit. So we got four bad boys down here. <laughs> All right, how do I want to approach this? There's a bush down there I could call them into and try to assassinate them with my blade. And you know what? I think that might be exactly how I'm going to do this. Oh, those boys are close together, though. This could easily go wrong, but... Oh, one took off. All right, that's the perfect opportunity then for me to do this. Oh, damn it, damn it, stop moving. Stop moving. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. Gotcha. As long as they are happy to die for it, I guess. And gotcha. That's four. <laughs> the game does a really good job, too, of uh, varying the weapons. So, like, at any given time, you can carry two different types of bows and two different types of weapons, uh, which I really dig because when you go to the gear, there are different types of bows. Like, this is a Predator bow. It only has nine shots, but it's basically like a sniper rifle. The light bow will just fire super fast, uh, which is a great bow for that. Um, warrior bows, which are great for hunting. They got a bit of zoom and a little bit slow, but you can kind of pull back, and the longer you hold the button, the more damage it'll do. Uh, which I'm actually going to switch to my warrior bow because I'm running out of ammo for my light bow. Uh... Or sorry, the hunter bow is the one that you draw back and do more damage. The, uh, the warrior bow... You kind of hold three arrows in between each finger, so that's the one that you fire just lightning fast. Uh, you burn through ammo pretty quickly, but when I compare it to my other bow that has no ammo... And yeah, each weapon type has its own like skills. Like For my melee weapons, I've got a blade and a sickle, which both have their own strengths. Oh, we got a boy coming out to investigate things around here. Damn it. Damn it, he ducked just at the right time. But no worries, we got him. Uh, thank you for the compliment about being smooth. I, uh, I appreciate that. That, uh, that extra boy who showed up, that did not go smooth, but I was doing, doing well until then. Uh, and yeah, once you go over to bodies that you've hit with arrows, you can also collect your arrows back from the body as well. So yeah, this is the multiple arrow. Uh, this one is like, if I remember correctly, I can draw, and it's like a shotgun blast. It'll fire four, it looks like, four arrows simultaneously. Got all my ammo back. Take that. Just 
just that one dude in here? There's got to be more than one dude in here. All right. Since I'm underground, I can't call my hawk to check things out. But there's got to be more than one boy. Gotcha. That was smooth. Oh, that was a fast hit. What was that sound just now? <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to arrow this guy and do a drop down on the other boy. Don't you worry about any alarms, bud. No alarms where you're going. Oh, except I, I dropped inside of a fire pot. That's... Whoa! Caused a bit of trouble. Hey, bud. Hey, hold on. Oh, no, no. Ah, ah damn it. Here we go. Gotcha. More boys are around here. It's at least one boy there. There's a treasure underneath me that I would like to get, but I want to make sure there's no, no bad people, no bad folks around. You know what? It's looking safe enough. I'm taking out this fool. There we go. It's the end of that. No one seems to be reacting to the fact that that guy just uh, dropped dead, so I'm assuming, assuming it's safe around here. Let me go down there and get that treasure. I don't necessarily know why they keep putting these little interactable objects around the world. Uh, like, Assassin's Creed is always really good for having, like, a lot of lore and historical context and uh, a lot of interesting things that you can kind of read from whatever, whatever, wherever it is that you are about whether the architecture or the civilization in this game franchise. But when they place these little things to read, like, in the middle of a battle zone, that's not right. Oh, this is a new kind of puzzle. I have to use counterweights. To do what, I wonder. So, this already seems to be weighed down. Of course. You're Anta, their protector. Ah, it's a dog. All right, well, I'm definitely going to save that dog. question is, why are there counterweights here? What is that signifying? Um, buh, 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 buh. And also, there's a treasure back there that I don't know how to access. It's over there. Uh, <laughs> we got Chuck Norris in the chat. Hey, Chuck. Uh, all right, hang on one second. We're just gonna, just gonna step away from the mic for one moment. I will be right back.
All right, and we're back. Okay. Just to check on something right quick. We're good. Um, all right, so there's a couple things to do here. I need to find an ancient tablet. There's some kind of puzzle with these counterweights. I need to save that dog. I mean, if I just unlock the door, is this done? Are we done now? Do I need to guide this dog somewhere? No, you're or? Way back. Oh, I'm supposed to Come escort on, the fucking. God damn it, there's other shit that I wanted to do here. Uh, yeah, there's another tomb. I want to find a tablet. Damn it, there's like nine things that I want to do here. So, Anta, you are a protector too, huh? But, fuck it. We got to do the mission at hand. And is, a, is this a dog? What is this? You'll see them soon enough. Or is this, a, is this like a trained hyena? Because it's ancient right Egypt, but this, you, is a, uh, this is a cat-based warship society, you know? Don't see many dogs chilling. To stay oh, out of sweet. Sight. Okay. I know, Whew. but this was our fault, and we thought you could use some help. The horseman is much, much bigger than you. Horseman? You haven't seen him. He's the most harrowing of them all. Big and strong. He's the one who took Anta. Hmm. He might have Cortesios' notes. Probably using them to locate treasures. Oh, yeah, that's a dog. I have seen him in the ruins around Khufu's pyramid. I will take care of this horseman. You should leave. Now. I should have a look around the pyramids. I can finally find those notes. Mm. Ashutosh in the Do chat saying that the, uh, the god of death was partially a dog. Okay. Or seek him out as he roams and terrorizes Giza. So a bit of a bit of a flip there with those kids. That dog is their, their friend and protector. Not necessarily the god of death, Whoa. but... Whoa, whoa, take it easy, horsey. Take it easy. Okay. All right, before I go kill whoever was fucking with those kids and t stealing dogs like an asshole, uh, I'm going to just come back in here and see if I can find that treasure that's marked on my mini-map and also figure out why there seems to be some kind of a counterbalance puzzle here. Do this, and then do this. Drop that. <laughs> Interesting. What is the purpose? up something yeah like do I want to counterbalance do I want to drop them on this in order to weigh that down to jump on the other thing okay well that's twitching out there also why do I need to counterbalance anything I can climb everything like, I can get up here without any kind of an elevator. All right, so there's just one piece of gold up here. It seems like all of this. Light this torch. Make sure, yeah, one piece of gold. Okay, still too heavy. 
Yeah, can I not? Ah, yeah, there's like a bunch of jagged rocks. Okay, so I can't climb up to there. So, I'm going to want to just load this one full of weight so that I can climb up there. Maybe that's enough. Eh, let's just really load it full of weight just to be safe. Nope, that was not on the thing. <laughs> All right, let's see how this plays out now. Yeah, that's enough weight. All right, what the hell's up this way? Some loot. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff in here. level daggers actually that's a nice dual sword it's a tasty little treat Ooh, good quality shield damn this is a hot room i am glad i came back to check this out whoa whoa okay wigging out that's not what i meant to do just wanted to come over get this thing and then this is another one of these uh, little tomb artifacts to give me a free ability point so I'm Ancient happy about that from the old kingdom So I got an ability point. I'm going to dart over to abilities here and see what I want to spend that on. Uh, yeah, so typical uh, kind of like half RPG. They got a, an ability tree, so you can uh, a skill tree, so you can spend on however it is that you play the, the however play style you want to hit the game with. Uh, so over here, the the seer skill tree is kind of for like tools and techniques. So you can get like fire bombs, sleep darts smoke pellets uh it's not really my play style um like this isn't like a metal gear solid type game like there's no bonus for me to use sleep darts and not just put an arrow in a guard's head also they're all pretty bad dudes so who cares uh so yeah some of this trap stuff it's really slow moving gameplay stuff so the whole seer skill tree doesn't really appeal to me uh, Warrior is your kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat ability. So these are pretty useful. Really, no matter what your play style is, there's going to be some point when you need to just stab some fools. Uh, no matter how good you are at being stealthy, there are some, like, you know, cutscene missions, certain quests where it's like you just got to stare someone in the eye and fight them. Uh, but I've been mainly doing bow stuff. I really enjoy bow stuff and assassinations. So I'm going to purchase this one, the Chain Assassination. So if I uh, sneak up on someone or jump on someone and do the uh, the traditional Assassin's Creed, like, blade in the side of the head assassination, I just kind of throw a dart, a throwing star or something, and it kills the second person. So being able to do two assassinations back-to-back -back pretty quickly, that's, that's going to be helpful. All right, so I got that. I'm also going to switch up. I think I picked up a pretty dope double blade a second ago. The hash, hash and slash. Nice. I'm going to switch over to that weapon. Because that's a good bit of damage. Uh, and if there's any like particular weapon in this game that you like, you can upgrade them as well and increase their power level. 
so you're not just constantly switching gear. If you find something you really enjoy, you can upgrade its power level. Like the gold items are exotic items, so you'll see they have more bonuses kind of attached to them. So like the blue weapon, if you look underneath the quality of it, it has a critical hit rate. You can a higher rate of critical hits. And then the purple ones are rare weapons. They'll usually have like two modifiers. The legendary ones have three modifiers, which are really helpful. So if you got the cash, if you sell enough items and get enough gold, you can constantly upgrade these exotic stuff to whatever your current level is and keep them powerful, which is what you really want to do in this game. But it does cost a lot of gold to upgrade them. So I can't quite do it every time I level up. I can't really spend the cash to uh, upgrade these to my current level. So every like five levels or so, I'll have enough cash to upgrade this stuff. So like this sickle sword, I was really digging it. It's got poison on hit. So I can just hit somebody and then just, uh, especially on horseback, if I hit someone and ride away, they're just bleeding out and poisoned. Yeah, I get bleeding and poison on hit. So you just hit someone once and run and it kind of takes care of the rest. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, but that does 219 damage a second and this is 244. So that's a good bit, good step up to these dual blades. So until I got the cash to upgrade my, uh, my Viper's Tooth Sickle. I'm going to stick with this. Uh, I think I got some more shields. God damn it, I got a lot of shields going on right now. Um, this blue stuff, I'm just going to get rid of this crap because if it's a regular, if, if it's not rare, if it's not at least purple, man, I don't care. Get that out of here. Switch over to this rare shield. Ashtosh again, uh, Ashtosh again in the chat. Uh, bring it up the D Dothraki sickle. That's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, that sickle is a is a pretty old school Dothraki one. But the dual swords are pretty dope too. Like the speed on these things are insane. Uh, and then just a regular sword. It's legendary, but it's all right. Uh, the legendary blade uh, bows are pretty good because I get health whenever I hit or kill with them. So that's pretty sweet. Um, all right, so where was I? We're here. We're exploring. Um, oh, okay, so I came out over here. <laughs> I still don't know how to reach. Oh, wrong button. There is a treasure right there, and I don't know how to reach it. Like, it seems like it should be part of this cave. But does this cave go down further? Where is this? Uh, I bet there's a little spot here you can swim underneath. Classic video game stuff. Yep. Okay, here's how I get to that treasure. Uh, the old hidden passage that you swim underneath. That's a classic. There it is. All right, so now I think I got all of the treasure in this area. I found the tablet. I got the treasure. Now... I need to go back and murder these fools who stole that who stole that kid's dog, because that's not cool. Don't don't steal dogs, you know. Um, before I do that, since it's on the way, I'm gonna climb up to the top of this pyramid and get this synchronization point, which uh, kind of opens up this map and shows me the location of stuff. So we'll do that along the way. See if I remember how to get out of here now. I think it's this way. You know what? Let's mix things up here a little. In terms of the gear. 
just do this in a towel for a bit. That's my boy. That's Bayak right there. The lead character of this game. Just running around the desert in a towel. Getting sand just everywhere. Riding around the desert, a horseback in a towel across a desert. There's going to be some shaving involved here. So this has all just been kind of... This has all just been kind of one quest so far. Like when we started the stream here... Uh, about an hour ago now, uh, I was exploring these uh, pyramids, trying to solve a mystery, but then I stumbled across a guy uh, along the way, and now this has all been one quest. You know, a guy had his notes stolen. Whoa. These kids have uh, had their dogs stolen. Now I'm trying to track down these assholes. Uh, it's too hot in the desert, so I just had a vision of a... Uh, of a flower that didn't exist. That's kind of what I was Whoa. mentioning earlier, that if you ride around the desert too long, you will go a little crazy, and your character starts seeing shit. Um, but yeah, so no. So, uh, before I got distracted by seeing shit, uh, I was saying that this one thing that I will give a huge credit to for this game that I think is kind of cool is just how long and how in-depth these quests are. Like, it doesn't feel like your typical open-world game where you meet someone and they're like, go collect, uh, go get me ten rabbit pelts. And then you just go and try to uh, hunt rabbit for the next 15 minutes. The quests, even though the story of them all might not necessarily be 100% engaging, um, they are interesting and unique and they have levels and kind of keep going in really interesting ways. Uh, yeah, just even from this quest where it's like someone, someone, someone's unconscious on the ground and then I'm knocked unconscious and someone stole this dude's book and uh, someone kidnapped these kids' dog, which is why they hit me over the head and stole this book and now I gotta kill these people. There's depth and layers to, uh, to every individual quest and it seems to go on for a long time and be dynamic that whole time as well, which is really rare and hard to do for an open world game to find, uh, oh shit. All right, we're good, we're good. Uh, for an open world game to find kind of these large quests, uh, a large amount of quests as well, that stay engaged and stay different and have character and development to them. All right, so I'm trying to get up to the top of this pyramid to get the synchronization point, and it is proving more challenging than anticipated and I feel like if I fuck up at any given step here, I'm going to slide down this whole fucking pyramid. And that is going to be uh, really frustrating. This pyramid is actually one of the few surfaces so far in the game that you can't, that you actually have to look for a handhold and you can't just uh, instinctively climb. Uh, which kind of makes this a little bit unlike previous Assassin's Creed games. In previous Assassin's Creed games, uh, you really kind of, if you were climbing a building, had to look for a like, typical climbing mechanic, whether it's in an Uncharted game or whatever, that you have to kind of look for a specific handhold in order to make a leap and look for where you need to grab next. In this game, you can just kind of climb anything. Like, there is no limit to what you can climb. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, pretty much straight up any kind of rock face. Uh, you don't really need to look for any kind of visual indicator for what is a handhold and what will allow you to climb. Except for this pyramid, which uh, is taking more time and thought than I originally anticipated.
Oof. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, there we go. Damn. Gold on the top. That's nice. Oof. I did it. So now I got an updated map. I still need to go kill these fools. Oh, I just leveled up and got another ability point. Nice. Uh, but where are these fools? They're somewhere in the area. I'm going to call my eagle who can track these fools down. These dog stealing fools. There he is. Is he alone? Oh, no. There's more boys. Are those boys or just jackals? Can't tell from this height. Got to take it down a little. So yeah, that's a man. Oh yeah, that, that dangerous stuff is just jackals. Come on, jackals. Can you kill this dude and do the work for me? Alright. Now the question is, how the fuck do I get down from here? Most of these synchronization points have a spot where you can just jump into a bale of hay and you're fine but this does not seem to have that because I am too far away from sand to do anything there's a bunch of jackals down there and I don't really want that in my life right now no oh shit this is gonna be This might get nasty. Ooh, I wonder, can I shoot an arrow while sliding down this thing? If I can kill this fool while sliding down a pyramid? Come on. Nah, I can't aim an arrow. I would have loved that. I don't want to avoid these jackals or hyenas so they don't give away my position when I'm trying to kill this dude. Because if I start causing a bunch of trouble dealing with these jackals. I don't want to make a bunch of noise dealing with these jackals and then give away my position on this dude who I'd really like to just walk up on and assassinate. No, not what I meant to do. No, stop climbing. Just avoid the jackals. Come on. I'm gonna time this right. I'm gonna Bit of a ways away. Gotcha. Nice. That played out perfectly. Exactly how I wanted it to play out. You'll be happy to see this. All right, sweet. So I got that dude's notes. You know what, now that I assassinated this dude quietly, I am going to fuck up these hyenas day, too. Thank you, hyenas, for that soft leather. For that soft, soft, sweet leather. Uh, do I have enough of anything to make anything? I do not. Uh, yeah, so that's another uh, gameplay mechanic that this has, is you can collect uh, hard leathers, soft leathers, exotic leathers, and uh, use it to craft and improve your items. Uh, so your bracers here, which increase melee damage, breastplate, which increase your health, 
Uh, tool pouch, increase your uh, tools you carry, ranged damage, maximum uh, your arrow capacity, and your hidden blade damage. So these are all items you can increase. Uh, I've got my arrow capacity at max. Stabilizer glove is getting up there. So yeah, basically like blue is regular, purple is rare, gold is exotic. So I got this maxed out. These are getting up there too. But yeah, you just uh, you can kill animals in the world uh, and hunt down like hard leather you can get from alligators and hippos, exotic leathers you get from like lions and cougars and stuff, and soft leather you can get from like deer, hyenas, and just kind of like more common animals. Uh, and then there's like wood and bronze and silver, which you need to craft certain items as well. You can find those throughout the world in like pouches. Uh, but for the silver and bronze and stuff, and really for like gold and leather is that occasionally you'll find uh, transports. So there'll be like the Emperor Guard kind of crossing the desert with a transport full of bronze, and you can attack them and steal the bronze and then use it to upgrade. Uh, but there's a few other ways to do it. Like there are certain skills in the upgrade tree that you can buy that allows you to buy crafting materials from uh, blacksmiths and weaver shops. So if I was going for this skill tree set, I could then just start buying the stuff to upgrade it. But I don't want to buy stuff when I can just steal it for free. So I'll just steal that from people later. Uh, let's switch up to the costume here to the Sekhmet one. Let's put that hood on. Now yeah, I'm a cool lion. Let's go give this guy his notebook back. Uh, yeah, so if you're, uh, for anybody who's new to the live stream, anybody who's uh, just coming in here now, I know we've got a few extra bodies here. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and if you missed the beginning of the live stream, I was saying that this game is, uh, if, you, if you haven't purchased it, if you're thinking about picking it up, this is a huge buy for me. I highly recommend this, which I'm actually quite surprised that I do because uh, I wasn't expecting to enjoy this game. The Assassin's Creed series has uh, cranked out a few stinkers in the past. And in preparation for this game, a lot of the reviews that I was reading, uh, the nicest things anyone was saying was, it sure is big. And I got a lot of problems with the, the video game pissing contest that happens right now of who can make a game with a bigger world. Uh, I feel like big doesn't matter. Hey. Uh, big world, small world, is it a I good game? Good news. And this one, it is huge My and massive, but notes. it also is a good game. I, just, I can't believe it. Uh, I love the structure of it. I love wandering around, you, finding a guy wife? like this, the structure, the quests, uh, the, the combat. The, game, the combat leaves something to be desired. Uh, but the gameplay is just so much fun. Like I really do feel like a man wandering the desert just over. dialing out I'm justice, done. and it's, it's a good feeling yeah, game. It won't bother you anymore. You can stop bludgeoning people over the head now. Are these the thieves? Oh. <laughs> Easy, friend. There was a misunderstanding. Their hands were forced. Now these kids need a safe passage back to Memphis, right? Yes, to the house of Neth, with all the other children. I have not yet mapped out Memphis. It was supposed to be my next stop. Do you know the way? Oh, no, but they know their way around. What luck. Aw. Come along, then. I'm glad this story has a happy ending. Kids put in a hard uh, spot. Memphis? Ah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Thank you. <laughs> don't don't hug a man who's wearing a lion mask. That's just with a snake on the floor. That's not Come that's not safe. Us. One thing I did just notice this is actually the first time that I've worn the helmet for this outfit. Uh, I don't know if you could hear that on the stream because I do have the volume of the game turned down slightly. Uh, but they added like a tinny echo to Bayek's voice when he's wearing this mask, which I had not previously noticed. To and I, that's, that's a really cool touch. They did not need to do that, but that attention to detail to is uh, one of the reasons this game is really dope. Uh, a, lot of the things that, a lot of things that don't need to be done, they do, like adding that tinny reverb to his voice when he puts this metal helmet on, uh, which not all costumes have. Like the fact that they would even add that effect to the game for the sake of any costume is kind of wild. All right, so now we got a few more people in the live chat here now. Um, yeah, we're probably going to be playing this game for another 40 minutes or so. Uh, if there are any requests, if any of you want me to 
do any particular type of mission or wander around or try to solve that puzzle that we were trying to solve at the beginning of the live stream. Uh, yeah, if we have any requests for any uh, specific type of combat or gameplay, let me know. Uh, da, 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 da. Or if there's any uh, game features that you would like to see or if you want to know more about the inventory system or what's going on with the map or any questions at all if you're thinking about buying the game or you're just curious uh let me know and we'll, we'll take it from there in the meantime i'm going to have a look around the map and think about what we could do uh or if you want to see a story mission let me know as well in the chat So in the meantime, I'm going to kind of go back to this puzzle that I had earlier. Let's see what I can figure out. So if your feet are firm in Latopolis, look west to the pyramid. Within the golden dunes lies the temple of a million years. All right, so see, this is Latop, Lat, uh, Latopolis up here. So it's saying to the west, look to the pyramids to the west. Pyramids are kind of southwest here, so I don't know if that's what this puzzle is referring to. Um, Judging by the map, it does not seem like there are any other pyramids around. Uh, there's like these ruins over here, but these are just kind of some temple ruins. They don't really look like a pyramid per se. More ruins. What are these pyramids to the west that it's referring to? Like, it should be these. Uh. So, yeah, look to the west, look west to the pyramids. Within the golden dunes lies the temple of a million years, guarded by stone lionesses. Lionesses. Lionesses? Is I saying that right? Female lions. Or is that lion, or is lioness a lion cub? Anyway, uh, we're looking for lion. So if you're here, look to the west. At the foot of the pyramids lies the temple of a million years. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to figure this out on the stream, what this, where this puzzle is referring to. So... We, we got to do something, so let's kind of move on and, uh, and grab another mission here. Unless any of you... Andy JP saying the Sphinx, the Sphinx, maybe? Maybe, but that's not in this area. In this area, we got two kind of straight-up pyramids. And this area... And usually with these puzzles, what I've noticed so far is that when they say to the West, like... They're usually using that as the closest indicator uh, to where it's supposed to be. So if they say here and to the west, you're probably not going to be crossing this far over into the map. In that case, they would refer to a different city or a different region. Um, and I don't even think it would be this far to the west because these are different regions. Like it would refer to the pyramids of Giza, whereas, uh, what is this, Sepi, Sep, Sepi Res Nome? Nome? Uh, it's probably somewhere like in this this area of the map is what I would think. I would think. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is all right. So here, this is def, this is where we're going right here. Uh, th a person took a photo of it, which is super helpful. This is another thing that uh, even though this game is not at all like Dark Souls. Uh, some of the combat stuff, they're trying to be more Dark Souls-like in terms of precision and counter movements and things like that. 
Uh, but anyone who takes an in-game photo can kind of upload it to the servers. And as other people look around their map, I'll see this is not even someone on my friends list. This is just a random person who plays this game who took this photo of this lion, which is exactly where I need to go. So this is just a kind stranger who is trying to solve this puzzle and wandering the desert took a photo, which is the exact clue that I need. So now I know exactly where I need to go, uh, which is, yeah, here a, l a little bit to the west of Latopolis. There is a lion. It's probably somewhere around there that I need to be. So let's head there. I'm actually just going to fast travel over to Lat Latopolis to do it. Uh, Andy JP in the chat. Yeah, the, the photos are sometimes useful. It, it, I, I'm not going to say it's a perfect system. It sometimes gets annoying on the map that I'm like, why am I seeing a stranger's photo of their gameplay? I don't care. Uh, sometimes people uh, take their photos right on top of a landmark or a mission quest, so it's hard for me to fast travel or select a certain well object uh, well because the there's a random Find photo the marker that I don't care time. about on the map. So it's, it, it's not a perfect system. I see what Ubisoft was trying to do with this to kind of make it a little bit Dark Souls-y, to be like you can share your gameplay or a tip with other people. And in situations like this, it works beautifully. Uh, and in some situations, it's kind of annoying, but I, I, I'm more often than not, I, I'm glad that that feature is in the game. I think it's kind of cool. And as well, Andy, Andy JP in the chat saying that uh, you haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since uh, the first, and they all look great, but you're not good at sneaking. Uh, one thing that I will say about this game, and, I, and I'm not trying to sell anybody too hard on this game. I know it's not going to be for everybody. I love it and highly recommend it. But they have done a good job this time around of uh, making it kind of accessible to everybody. Like, I still choose sneaking, but that's not the necessary gameplay style anymore. Like, you can upgrade yourself to just be better at straight-up combat if you want. So if I went about that style of gameplay, I can kind of rush into this scenario. Usually if there's more than, five, more than four enemies you want to at least sneak and take out a couple to kind of bring down the numbers a bit uh but if there's yeah if there's like four or less you can kind of take them on and there's a fucking tiger here who's gonna come kill me which i could do without all right, so I'm going to do a little straight-up combat here instead of sneaking because, well, one, that tiger found me, which is less than ideal. Uh, and two, uh, just for, uh, for Andy JP, show you what it would be like with uh, just straight-up combat. Uh, yeah, so you have the ability to lock on and kind of dodge. And as well, you have uh, shield capabilities. So I can block incoming, but I can also parry incoming and then convert it into a vicious attack. Um, now I got boys on fucking... There's a lot going on here. Where, I don't know where these boys came from, but I could do without it. Uh, but as well, with your shield out, you can also kind of block incoming arrow fire. These people seem to be fighting each other. I think these are some, some of the Emperor's bad boys and some raiders as well. Uh, but yeah, you can use it to counter. Uh, you can use your shield to counter movements. Dodge, uh, yeah, you can go for a straight up kind of combat loadout and do that as your play style, as opposed to, as opposed to sneaking. And even in live combat as well, you can still use your bow and arrow. It's not 100% a sneaking weapon. So even with the bows and arrows, I was kind of bringing it up earlier and uh, going through the inventory. There's different types. Like there's my Predator Bow, which is my, like, sniper rifle one, essentially. Low ammo, high damage, great for taking fools out. Then there's ones like this that fire four arrows simultaneously, like a shotgun blast. So if I want to be a kind of run-into-battle fella, then, uh, then I can do it with this. But yeah, lots of different gameplay styles for, uh, it's just a little... A little live combat dem demonstration for Andy JP there, who's, uh... Talking about not being good at sneaking. Yeah. Uh, and as well, we got Neil Ann in the chat there now. Hey, Neil. Um, 
it would be nice if they I, I agree with Neil. It would be nice if they had a, an ability to toggle disable enabling the photos. Right now, I've looked through I've I've just scoured through the menu options and I cannot find an option to turn off that like social photo sharing. Uh, it would be nice if they had that. Maybe they'll do something like that in an update patch at some point in the future. But for now, it really just does not have the option to turn off the photos permanently, or at least not that I was able to find. It would be good if they could. What did the priests hope to achieve in their last ceremony so long ago? You're welcome, Andy. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. Oh, shit. There are snakes. I've never encountered snakes inside of a jar before. I did not like that. Uh, and yeah, Andy, I, I, I do... Uh, just going back to the combat. I do really enjoy the combat in this. Uh, it's not the best combat in... in in any game, like it's not like I, I referenced up. Dark Souls a moment ago. Like it's not as precise and uh, sophisticated as like a Dark Souls combat with kind of like millisecond timing and precision stuff. But for a game that gives you the option of like hardcore combat or sneaking or assassination or poisoning people or setting up traps. Uh, it, it does a really good job of balancing out those options. No one of those options is as good as any game dedicated to sneaking or as any game dedicated to uh, running into battle, but it does a really These good men, job of balancing it out as far as games that kind of offer a bunch of options. Were they killed? Or did they choose this fate for themselves? Some ancient concoction, long since dried up. Uh, yeah, because previous Assassin's Creed games were essentially almost like Batman games, where like there's that live button press that'll come above your head if someone's about to attack you and were to counter it. So if you're a high enough level and you're good enough at the game, you could kind of run into a crowd of 50 guards and just counter everyone like a superhero. Uh, but in this game, you're still you know you're still the main protagonist. You're powerful and you can do a lot of damage, but the top of You're not going to want to run into a group of fish. So the rest of the Nile could be granted to the realm of men. These priests made an invocation for protection to the one before whom evil trembles. In drinking their concoction, they gave their lives, as well as their city, to Sekhmet. In their eyes, Ta'aka's project would be sacrilegious. get through that little crevice? I cannot. Okay. Yeah, Andy mentioned in Witcher 3, which, uh, yeah, I don't know when you hopped into the live stream, Andy, but I was kind of mentioning that uh, just briefly at the beginning of the live stream that this game feels like The Witcher 3. I love The Witcher 3. I love the whole Witcher series, but this feels like The Witcher 3, and even fans of the Assassin's Creed games and a lot of the reviews that I've read have said this feels like a Witcher game that someone slapped the, the name Assassin's Creed on. And, uh, and, and some people aren't a fan of that. Mo most reviews that I read are. I'm a big fan of it. It feels like a Witcher game with a few modifications, like less magic, but a lot like even when I look at the gear that I can create, things like these little like fire bombs that I can throw, it feels very Witcher 3 in terms of what you can craft and invest in in your ability tree. So no straight up magic, um, even though there is kind of straight up magic sometimes in some story elements, but your character doesn't possess it. Uh, yeah, the combat. Uh, a lot of it feels like the feels like The Witcher Three. Ah, oh, Bayek, I'm getting used to living with these symbols. Nebefe even came by for a meal. Did you find out anything? I did. 
Though I'm not sure you are going to like it. Uh, a curse! I knew it! No, not exactly. Letopolis was an offering to Sethmet to protect the rest of the Nile. We have offended the Lady of Slaughter? No wonder the sands always blow. She wants to reclaim the city. Uh, are the officials blind or mad? I can't stay here. Maybe Nebefe will come with me. What about you? My time here is but temporary. You were kind to me when others were not. Maybe we will see each other again in this world. I also forgot how long of a quest that was that I was on. Um, yeah, I love how long and detailed the quests are, but sometimes it can get a little weird when I finish a quest, and I'm like, how did this even begin? How the fuck did I even get into this position that I'm, re that I, I'm seeing visions inside of a temple? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, it's because this guy just uh, made a new, or, like, dug a house out of the sand from a previous generation and found weird... Uh, weird hieroglyphs on the wall and was like, can you figure this out? Things can really spiral out of control in the quests in this game. Um. Alright, so I'm not going to grab any of the main quest stuff here uh, at the moment because these are three ones that are like several hour missions these to start to end like there is any given point where i can kind of quit and take off uh but start to finish these main quests are pretty hefty ones so i'm going to do a side quest here now uh just to give everybody an idea of the main quests uh so these are people that you need to find revenge on essentially uh who have to do with the murder of your son and you just kind of have code names for these people until you discover more about them and figure it out and then if they're red in this menu, it means that I've murdered them. And if they're yellow, these are story missions that I still need to complete. I get the feeling that as the game goes on, like this first tier of baddies, there was five of them, and then there's four, and then it's probably going to be three, and then two, and then probably up top, the, as I get closer to the end of the game, one big bad that we figure out is behind all of this shit. Uh, but yeah, those are the big assassination missions. They take a long time uh, and have several layers to it. So I'm not going not gonna to go for those just yet. Uh, let's see with these side quests. What to do? What to do? Uh, this is... Uh, oh, yeah, this little thing on the map is another kind of gameplay element is that uh, I mentioned earlier about, like, the photos that random people online can share. Uh, these little skulls are other people who have died playing the game, and you can go and inspect their body, and it'll tell you who murdered them. Uh, and, it, and by who, I just it's, it's like a random AI character, but it's some baddies that are wandering the map. And then you can go on a revenge mission and kill the people who killed this other player, uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, it's not really that personal because, like, this isn't someone on my friends list. It's just a random person who's playing the game that I can avenge. But it's still fun. Uh, and a good way to get, like, additional XP if you're just kind of playing the game, grinding, trying to level up, you know? Uh, all right. Uh, so, fuck it. Let's do this one. Let's do Worker's Lament. Where do I need to be for this one? Oh, I'm practically on top of it. So I need to go talk to that person. Some awesome soup. Is that person in a well? Baba, what the fuck are you doing in a well, bud? Can you hear me? Baba! Ipui! I am here! Are you okay? My leg is hurt. I don't know how bad. And Baba? I don't know. I can't see him. Get help. What happened? The tunnel collapsed. Baba and Ipui are trapped inside. How can I help? 
Are you strong enough to clear the way? See if you can bring them out. Please, Neb. They are my brothers. Stay here. I will do what I can. Don't worry. I got this. But I feel like this quest requires a new outfit. What am I going to do? Do I want that little bit of nipple exposed? Or do I, I just, I got to go back to Savannah Marauder. Just that, that little bit of leopard skin on the shoulder? It's just a tight look. I'm going to take the mask off, though. Um, one weird gameplay feature uh, for anyone watching this who does play Assassin's Creed Origins or picks it up that the game never tells you that I kind of found online and, and it's pretty inconsistent is that when you start the, the game, your character has long hair and a beard. And then you reach a point in the story where your character shaves both his head and beard. So you go from long hair and a beard to shave head, clean face. But the game never tells you this, but in the menu system, if you hold down either of the shoulder buttons and press triangle, you can get that hair back and customize your look. It's a pretty low-level customization, but customize it. So I enjoy going for shaved head plus beard. I don't know why it makes Bayek look like a UFC fighter. I dig this look. Uh, but yeah, it's just like a weird gameplay feature that uh, have to force way through. the game never tells you. I don't know if I really need this torch gameplay tutorial. It's pretty bright in here. Hey there, are you hot? Ah, I twisted my ankle. My brother Baba was working further in. The tunnel collapsed. I don't know if he's alive. I will get you out first, then find him. Careful. I think I heard a hissing sound nearby. All right, hissing sound. So there's probably uh, probably going to be a <sighs> snake, I'm going to guess. Get you out of here, first of all. Nick and his suggeriot. Fuck out my way, guy. Hey, boy. I will help him from here. You need to go back and find Baba. Hurry. He might be hurt or worse. Take Mom. care of him. I will find your last brother. Thank you, Neb. Peace, Wajet. Forgive me for killing your green ones. There is no other way through. Oh shit, I just set that snake on fire. I didn't know you could do that. I also didn't know that you could collect the snake skins either. That's pretty dope. Are you hot? No. I managed to squeeze in there just before it collapsed. I had no idea this was here. We were digging to reach the river. That place was probably part of the old temple. Do you need help getting out of here? I am fine. I am going to meet with my brothers and take a break. What is this place? All right, I'll go out and talk to your brothers in a second, but I want to know what this place is, first of all. history of the lost keepers of this place. The sword is missing. I wonder if Ma has succeeded at the House of Serketh, or whether his cause was lost there. Alright, 
minutes, so I gotta go. If I go get a sword from the old library, I can bring it here and do some stuff. I'll figure that out later. In the meantime, I'm gonna go tell Nito that his brothers are cool. I believe this dude's name is Nito. I meant they're both right there. Why am I? Who am I supposed to report back to? Nito? Who the fuck is Nito? This goes right back to what I was saying before about some of these quests kind of being too long, staying in my quest menu for a bit, and then I have no idea how something started. But I'm assuming, like, a couple days ago, I was playing this game and talked to whoever this person is, and they were like, go check out that well. Chief Nito, the well tunnel partially collapsed, but I was able to help the workers. My little bean and I are so fortunate you passed by when you did, Medjai. May the gods bless you a thousand times for your efforts. Take care of yourself. May the gods bless your little one. <sighs> All right. All right, got that done. Uh, what kind of area is this? Skill level 17. Just gonna go do a couple things now before calling it a day on this stream. So, let's take out an area. Let's take out a guard post before we go. A little bit more action. Uh, so these are the little spots on the map where it's basically just like little guard posts where if you walk into the area, it's like a red alert area. They can set off alarm and call in reinforcements. Um, yeah, so it's just like a little enemy base. And I can go in and kill their captain and take some people out and get a treasure for doing it. So I'm going to fast travel up here and then stroll over there to do it. on my map. Why do I hear lions? Holy shit, that's a lot of lions underneath me. Well, I need lion skins, so Andrew's going hunting. There's a lot of lions. <clears throat> Only got one. Some of the am animal hunting can be tough. Uh, I am going to go kill that other lion that managed to sneak away. Some of the animal hunting can be tough because uh, if you can't get them in one hit, if it's not a one hit kill, they'll really wander off on you. Uh, yeah, they move so fast, it's really hard to get a bead on them if they're running away. It's hard to get that second shot. Oh, oh, we got another one. Hunting by horseback is the only way to hunt. If I wasn't on a horse right now, this would be a hot mess. Even on a horse, these guys are kind of giving me trouble here now. Here we go. Got a bunch of pelts. Oh my god, is there another one? Good. How many? What a pride of lions this was. Come on, boys. 
Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, see, now, now this is where things get bad. Oh, shit, me. Firebomb, managed to get this dude on fire. He does not seem that all that phased by it. Whew. That, that really escalated. my pelts. Ah, oh, sweet. I got enough to construct extra stuff. Um, I don't use my tools very often, so I'm going to sit on that. But, I would like to increase my health. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, shit. I can increase it again. That was a lot of pelts. That was super helpful. All right, I can't increase it anymore. That was, I used up a lot of stuff. Okay. It was dope, though. Needed that. Well, I didn't really need it, but it certainly helps. All right, coming up on the base here now. Come on, bud. Oh. I'm whistling. Hey! What's wrong with you? All right, I'll finish. <laughs> You're dead. All right, so let me see how many guards are in here. We got a hippo over there. That's going to be trouble. Um... Oh, sweet. The hippo is attacking one of the guards. That actually makes life a bit easier for me. Uh, yeah, so it seems like we got four boys, and they're all fighting a hippo right now. And now another hippo is coming in, too. <laughs> That's really causing some trouble for these boys. We got two. Another hippo. Uh, yeah, and these are these little fire pits are their alarms. So if I get spotted, they set that off, and then uh, reinforcements will come. This area is off limits. But I can also sabotage the alarm when they're not looking, so that if anyone Something tries to set it off, Eyes open. yeah, they explode. Understood. I'm awake. Hey. Come on now, they're all they're all too worked up from the hippo fight. They're right on top of one another. And it's hard to get a bead when they're all right on top of one another like this. Ooh, come on, Captain. Come on over towards me. Let me assassinate you. Oh, are you going to sleep? Ah, oh, that idiot's going to sleep. Terrific. What a dumb. <laughs> Enjoy your sleep, bud. Whoa! Whoa! Where did these boys come from? You died. Okay, this is not what I intended. He's now called for reinforcements now that that thing is lit. I don't think there's a way to shut this off. I think now I just need to kill the reinforcements. All right, you're dead. 
Is that everybody? I think I got everybody. No, I did not get everybody. When did you get on top of the tent, bud? Motherfucker got on top of the tent. Let me grab all this hippo hide, because that's sweet, sweet, valuable stuff. I did not want to hide in the hay bale, but all right. Wait a minute, there's more reinforcements coming in? Get out of here. On my way. Hey. Dummy. Wait. Hey now. You're dead. Alright, maybe reinforcements just keep coming as long as that's lit, and I should just get the loot and get out of here. We're, we're, we're learning. Um. Just checking up on the chat. I forgot to glance down at the chat in a bit. Uh, Ashutosh uh, talking about the cozy scene in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a little, uh, little bathing scene where they uh, do all the shaving necessary. Oh, shit. I've got to hide. I've got to hide right now. Um, fuck me. Um, all right, trying to catch you. All right, I'm going to just pause here for a second. Uh, Andy JP in the chat. Uh, it is a weird way to activate that feature. They should have a barber in the game. I agree with Andy because, like, Witcher and a lot of other games have that. Um, I almost feel like the game is not intending for me to be able to change that beard and hairstyle, and it's like a programmer code that they forgot to remove uh, because there's no indication that those buttons in combination should change the hair and beard. So I think it might be uh, like a programming code that they just never removed because they were like, who would randomly press these buttons in combination in this particular menu screen with no prompt? Uh, and someone online figured it out. Because anytime I stop the game or if I, if I quit the game from the PlayStation and reload, it defaults back to him shaved head, shaved beard. And I have to like go in and turn it back on any time that I want. So I don't think it's actually meant to be a feature of the game. I think it's just something that kind of glitched in. Uh, all right, I'm gonna see if I can kill this person here before I call it. Uh, before I call the end of the stream. So this is uh, uh, Ptolemy's fist. Uh, so King Ptolemy is uh, currently the bad guy, the one that I don't like. Uh, my main character Bayak wants Cleopatra in power, and Ptolemy is uh, just a bad dude. Uh, and now I'm at a point in the story where Ptolemy's uh, personal guards, these are very bad dudes, very tough to kill, high-end guys, these little skulls on the map, they're kind of hunting me throughout the world. So sometimes I'll check my mini-map and I'll be here and I just see one of those little helmet skulls over here and I'm like, well, fuck, I'm not going to the east for a little bit. I need to take off because these are, these are some bad, bad, tough dudes. Uh, so one of these guys is coming very close to me right now. Uh, where is he? There he is. So this is a, a bad, bad man. But I'm going to see if I can kill him. I probably can't, and I'm probably going to get killed. But fuck it, it's worth a shot. I'm going to change my bow here real quickly, or change one of them anyway over to my light bow, where I can do some rapid fire damage. I wish I, I, wish I had a few more arrows, because I'm getting a little low on that, too. All right, I can do a decent amount of damage if I sneak up and get a good headshot on this boy. Oh. Hey, what? Wh uh. Nowhere you can run to! <laughs> so as you can see, I am just hammering this fool with arrows, and it is doing surprisingly little. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Get out of there. Whoa. He got lit on fire at some point, and he is not pleased about that. 
the fist will pound you. Whoa. Okay, so I've used up all of my arrows for those two different bow types. Um, I'm going to maybe just switch back here to a bow that I actually have some arrows for. But also, I've got my special ready. I'm going to see if I can stab this dude to death. He's almost there. A couple hits. Yes! Woo! I can't believe I got that. And now this asshole is shooting me. Who do you think you are, guy? I just killed Ptolemy's fist. You don't. You got nothing on me. King carved with the eye of Horus. Woo! What could it unlock? Oh, some kind of special quest. Key, a, a hot legendary item. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Let's look at this. Let's look at the... Where is this legendary item? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Copper mace. Slow and very powerful. Adrenaline on kill. Health on hit. Combo multiplier. Woo. Get in my hands. Nice, 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 nice. I love it. Let's see how it looks here. Oh, that's a heavy boy. All right. I got I to gotta put this weapon to the test here. I think there's one more bad boy over in this area. I should not be seen in this area. Hang on. Hey there. I've got a new weapon. Oh, it is very slow, though. And you've got a very fast one. Oh, that's got to hurt. You are dead. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm on fire. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to be on fire. Okay, this whole place is burning down. I'm going to get out of here. I was never here. No one saw me. I'm like a ghost. All right. Well, that's Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, I'm now I'm covered in blood. Uh, I am really, really liking this game. Uh, I highly recommend that you pick it up if you're looking for something to pick up right now. It, it plays like the, the Witcher meets Dark Souls meets a, an Assassin's Creed meets Tom Clancy's The Division. Uh, yeah, Ubisoft as a game manufacturer, I feel like, has learned with uh, learned from all of their mistakes and all of their successes. Uh, thank you for everybody who, uh, who has been watching the live stream, everybody who's part of, uh, of the live chat. Uh, I appreciate that, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, and yeah, be sure if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to Sketch from Superheroes. We do live streams, we do sketch comedy in a superhero world, we do video essays, whatever it is that you're looking for. Uh, we got it, so hit subscribe. If you hit that notification bell, you'll get notified whenever we have new videos. Uh, and if you're looking for something else to watch right now, check out one of the many other videos on the channel. It's all uh, it's all free videos. We do our best to entertain you here. Uh, so check it out, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.